pro players. Oh, mm -hmm. go. No, 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 go. Uh, a bunch of pro players, like, we love watching it, um, like, the TL breaking point every year. It's just so oh, entertaining. Oh, fuck. I haven't seen the new TSM Legends. Oh, my God. Wait. Some content? Yeah, wait. Is Riven in it, even? I, that's what I think. Yeah, wait. TSM Legends. Oh, but I don't, I don't know if you did this, but I think, like... Oh, hold on, hold on. It's, it's viewer. Hold on. It's viewership's exploding. Wait. Holy shit. Nathan? It's so fun to watch um, it is. other teams, like, Just stuff. Copy? Like, as uh, another team. Can yeah, it is. Like, I'm sure teams did this with, like, 100 Thieves, too. Really? We would do it. We would do it before, like, team meetings in the morning. Like, everyone would come early, and we would do it. It's just, like, team bonding stuff, I guess. I don't think it's bad. Oh, the format's so bad, man. You suggested it as a team, and I don't really watch other teams' content. Like, I really don't give a shit what goes on in other teams. Like, I couldn't care less. That's true. It's just nice seeing like how they're experiencing stuff. I know you definitely don't see all of it though, for sure. I know I'm doing these documentaries. Like I think Wait. out of all pro players, and I'm I wouldn't be surprised. Like I I swear to God, out of all pro players, I am the least connected player to player. Like I have a no like I don't talk to anyone outside of my own team ever about gameplay. It's like a once in a split thing that I do that. I did Rebic. Two games, but I miss W, and we had so many mistakes. Whenever Reddit says something, if I do the opposite, I know I'm doing the job right. If Reddit says I'm doing something bad, I know I'm doing something right. What about the draft? Really? Yes. Oh, the draft was good. I just did the like point at him real quick. Say it. The draft was good. Like Who shit. asked for the Sidwani bit? Me. I want the Sidwani bit. Yes, Jesus, go on, please. I play like bro. Yes. I, I, I missed my That is how one. professional oh, players and coaches go know, about. Stop talking. We all play like shit. Everything needs. Yes, every everybody play like shit. Yeah. Happens. That's right. There's no way he just died there. Hedgewani mid. Hedgewani mid's bad. Holy you're down. Uh. Okay, at 20 minutes. I mean, it's just an off theme draft. I mean. What? Wait, you think it's bad? It's an off theme draft. I mean, I I went. I mean, there's a clip. There's a clip that goes over the whole thing. Mm. Karaoke. That's cute. Uh, but I think go uh, maybe bottom lane. Mm -hmm. Wait, karaoke after getting railed on stage? Against the <laughs> we Wait, what? Anything where we were lost completely in the game, like we were ten. No way. Coming off of a five game win. There's no way we get absolutely railed on stage and then we go karaoke, right? We're that's what they did. Up now against the best team. Respect. Go, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, mid jungle early center doesn't really seem to work. Let's try to go back to what we were. I could never. I'm not gonna lie. I could never. Uh, important matchup here though. PSM and Cloud9. Let's jump right oh. into. Fuck. I don't oh, know so if this music's uh, copyright. Team dinners after you lose is kind of hard. Cause all, all you want to do, at least all I want to do after a loss, go review the games, <laughs> go think about mm -hmm. it more, go prepare for next games day or next day's game and play solo queue i'm just like i'm just saying you know like i think if you're a competitive team still in competition and you take an l i think you you process the l and then go on with your life you know like yeah i'm not saying that like i mind them going karaoke so much it's just like i think it's unnatural i think i mean again if the argument is this is how they process the loss that's fine but at the end of the day it's not about just processing loss it's also learning from it right and I feel like uh, if you're going game one, you get railed, and then you know you go you, you you go to karaoke the same night, and then you go into game two. I think that's very weird. Now, if it was game after game two, I could see it, but uh, the way the video was constructed, it looked like it was after game one. Oh no, it's it was probably <laughs> after um, review. Mm. Well, I, I would say it's hundred percent after no, review. No, 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 but yeah. the, you can't review after the game. Like, there's no way. There's no there's no team that can lose a game, go home, and review on the same day. Wait, really? This is the most illegal thing you can do. So many people have these like completely emotional arguments to everything that happens in the game because all they're thinking about is their perspective and what they felt in the moment. You don't think that's good for them to discuss? Or no. I, I guess if it's emotional, yeah, it's not. Like, but I don't okay, have to so say. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm one of those players. I'm one of those players that will be like, no, 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 no. I felt this way in the game, like it was not playable. 
right? And then like a day later, I'm just like, you know what? It was because I played X, Y, and Z wrong, and this is why it went wrong, right? Right. Wait, um, so I have a question. Can I can I have a scenario real quick? Sure. Um. So if you okay, so say you're playing. There's two days you play, right? At least in LCS, right? Yeah. So say you play day one. You don't review it as a team afterwards. <laughs> say if you lost yeah. day one games, you wouldn't review yeah. it as a team. No, I don't think you should review on the same evening. No, absolutely not. And I think the day after, it's it's uh, too little time in my experience. I don't think you review the game. I think you you take that you. I think your coach bringing like large points of things that we did wrong and and mentioning like hey yesterday we didn't do this this and this and in 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 a in a team meeting is absolutely good. Like I think that's a given. But like going through the game and like going through the the, the motions of what happened in the game. Uh, it's not something that I would want my my staff to do. No, I, I don't think it's good. On the same day, I I really don't think so. Is that something you guys did on TL? I don't think so. No, I don't remember. Oh. Maybe certain players are talking to the staff individually and doing that, but uh, as far as I'm aware, I don't think we had full team. Like you know what I mean? Like a scrim review. You know, like everyone's just sitting there on the couch, uh, staring at the screen. Uh, mm. We're all discussing every single point and every big point of the game and, and talking about what went wrong. Like after a loss on an LCS stage game, I, I really don't think so, no. Because that's what you would do. And I kind of like the point you're bringing up where everything is very emotional and you just bring up the big points on the next day of like what you did wrong. Um, but yeah, that is fair. I think it definitely felt a lot better when, like, say we would lose a game, it would be, like, the second day, um, and then we wouldn't review it. We would just go on and play solo queue. Hmm. I don't mind it, though. I, I, think, think there's a time, I think there's a time and place to review mind. games. I think there's a time yeah. and place to review games uh, on stage, but I just don't think that day one, <clears throat> lose, go home, it's like, what? Like, by the time everyone's ready to discuss, it's, like, either 5 or 6 p.m., right? Probably people are going to want to yeah. watch the end you of, the, interviews uh, of and stuff. the day. Whatever the fuck it is, 7 p.m., like people want to have dinner, and then like 7, 8 p.m., you meet, and then you still want to discuss the what, what happened. And like people are not over it yet, they, they really are not. People will still have emotional attachment to the game, and I think discussing it and, and bringing up biased emotional arguments as to why the game was good or bad, uh, I personally don't think has any value. I don't think it has any merit. I can see that argument. That's probably something I would have preferred, but again, it's like if everyone wants to do it, a review. Yeah, they they, feel of like course, it's valuable, you know, then I'm going to do it. Yeah. Of course, yeah. You sit there and you listen, right? But I just know for from experience, um, what is fine in my opinion is reviewing it in between players, and players have like their own space to talk about like their own situation, right? So, I think having a, a space to like discuss, like for example, like jungle top, right? And you discuss like, well, this sequence, I I did this and you did that, and I felt that way about that play, or or I, I don't know what you <clears> wanted <throat> me to do, or whatever. This type of discussion is very fair. I think that's totally okay. Hmm. But uh, I think having a, a team review, yeah, and yeah, a team review, and like your coach is going to be emotional as well because he's going to get fucking shouted at that the draft or shit or some bullshit like that. Uh, I just don't think it's it, it is good. If you have a game to play the next day, I think on the on the Sunday or the last day of the week that you play, like go go for it, you know, like fucking jump at each other's throats for seven hours for all I give a shit. You know, I'll jump in too. Like, I don't mind. But if I have a game to play tomorrow, I, I don't want to. I don't want to get stuck on what happened yesterday and have it uh, influence my decision making the next day. Because obviously, when you lose, there's someone that has to take responsibility, right? Yeah. And um. Even if someone takes responsibility in the best way possible, uh, can every player say with confidence that if they're under stress and pressure that yesterday one of my teammates fucked up? If I'm in a similar situation, am I going to trust him to play it out right the next time? And you can say that the answer should be yes, but I can tell you with confidence that I've been in situations where I've, I've told myself I don't trust, like I, I'm not sure I want to play the same situation and put the responsibility on the same guy again after we lost yesterday, especially when it's like late season and you're like playoff seeding or whether you qualify to playoffs or whatever it comes into play. Like it is very hard to just relinquish that responsibility again to the same person that fucked it up the day before. And the thing is, if you don't review, you don't see that type of mistake. You literally don't because you're not looking at it. Mm. <clears throat> Which is why like, uh, like a lot sense. of people think reviewing is like, strictly positive but when you're when you're in the sauce and you've been grinding for months straight and like 
you're stressed out, as, you're stressed out as fuck, and, and whatever. Like, it's really easy to to come to very negative conclusions uh, about your teammates, in my opinion. No, I agree with that. I think there's been a lot of like motion, emotional discussions on the teams I've been on, and I don't think it was ever very helpful in the slightest. Well, my argument is, is that it's damaging. <clears throat> yeah, it, it is damaging. I agree with that. Fuck okay, Revan. <clears throat> uh, I actually Just think he's like... thinking... Well, I mean, I think I think that he's thinking what happens as soon as they lose because he's in a really awkward position. Mm. So if you can't stay on stream? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I think all of TSM are kind of fucked. Yeah. Everyone's China, contracts baby. get instantly, yeah. You know. It's time to learn Chinese. So fucking weird. Yeah, it definitely sucks. I, I've, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. Oh, this is a weird fucking feeling, actually. Wait, is he, we wait, is he wearing something? Wait. 